elements and shit. So if you want to watch those, set up your notifications, give me the thumbs up if this one resonates. If not, look at your moon or your rising signs. Sometimes those will resonate even more. If y'all need a private reading, as always, below in the description box is all my info with my website where you can book. All right, other than that, let's take a big fat look at your love life. Cancer from... May 15th through May 31st, 2019. Zodiac sign of Cancer Collective. That's right. I said collective. Collective love energy for Cancer. Let's do it. All right. Let's cut her and do her, as I always say, and see what's coming in. May 15th through the 31st for Cancer. All right. Coming in. What do we got? We got the Five of Wands. Cancer. We do. What is challenging or influencing that Five of Wands is the Ace of Cups in reverse. What is on your mind? The Queen of Cups. Hi, Cancer. Thanks for making an appearance. I really don't like that you're in the reverse, though. I don't. The situation, what's going on? The sun in reverse. Some of you are, some of you are depressed a little bit, I feel. What happened in the recent past? The Chariot. Hi. Showing up again. I love you, Cancer. Thank you. Major Arcana for Cancer. Coming in, what are you going to experience? The Devil. Capricorn Energy. How do you see yourself right now? The King of Pentacles. All right. Some of you concentrate on that coin. Outside influences. So you're in your environment. What's headed your way that you don't see? The Knight of Swords. All right, Cancer. All right. In your emotions, what's up? We have the Strength cards on a Leo. And what's your outcome, Cancer? What is it? The Five of Cups. Cancer. That's the Cancerian card. What? What? Cancers, holding on to the past. No way. And I can say that because I'm a Cancer rising. Overall energy is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, somebody may have blocked somebody. Communication or something stagnant. Those wands are flying through the air. It's action and movement or communication, travel, you know, that kind of shit. Manifestation. But in reverse, it's... Uh, so somebody blocks somebody. Somebody's not communicating, moving, taking action, some shit like that. Coming in, we got some conflict with the Five of Wands, some challenges. Fives are all about challenges and strife. You guys aren't on the same page with somebody. Other people are involved, that kind of shit. Or you have some inner conflict, kind of bantering a little bit here. What's challenging that is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Maybe there was a breakup. Ace of Cups in reverse, there's your energy, of course. Ace of Cups in reverse is a lack of healing. I do feel like y'all have some healing to do. Some of you guys are depressed. And it's either because of a breakup conflict or something's one-sided, something like that. Because on your mind is the Queen of Cups in reverse. She's in reverse. So water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. If you're male, maybe you're dealing with a, another water sign or something like that. But she's sad. The Queen of Cups in reverse. She's not healed. She can't use her intuition. Her emotions aren't quite in balance. Sometimes she's angry, but it's because she's hurt, right? Her, her emotions are all out of whack. The situation is because of the sun. It could be due to a Leo, but also the foundation here. Again, the sun can be depression in reverse. It can be a lack of healing. There's some healing that needs to take place here. And that's also the challenge. Ace of Cups in reverse is something. There's no self-healing here, too. And, you know, this is all happening because in the recent past, we have you guys. Hi. The chariot. Maybe you're at a distance from somebody, but also the chariot is somebody moved on. I don't feel like this is talking about victory or success, Cancer, because you guys wouldn't be in the, in the reverse. Somebody moved forward. Maybe the, the chariot and the upright is like, it could be obstacles. And somebody moved away from the obstacles quickly, perhaps. Could have been distance. So coming in, what you're going to experience is the devil, so Capricorn, but the devil can mean so many things. We're going to clarify. This could be that you still felt strapped, strapped. Okay, mom, let's bring the energy back in. You know, hey, you might be strapped down, Cancer. Are you going to be strapped in the trunk of a car? Please don't. Let's start again. Coming in, you're going to experience the devil energy. This could be you guys still feeling tied and bound. Because this is very strong. This is soulmate energy. Not all readers will read the devil as that. You know, typically we would want to run straight to toxicities, addictions, third party. You know, yes, it can be that. But it can also be, you know, you feel very um, chained and bound to a connection with that devil energy. 
right? Because in the foundation, there's just this lack of change and it, it's making some of you guys unhappy. And I feel like it's because coming in, you still feel a very strong connection to somebody. You're having a hard time breaking away from it. Even though somebody broke away here probably in the past. You see yourself as the king of pentacles. That's interesting. If you're male, you know, you want to be in a long-term relationship. You know, this is stable, grounded. Move slowly because he's about building for the future. For you females, this is what you want. You see yourself as wanting to be with the king of pentacles. Husband, father, grounded. Sometimes the king of pentacles literally works with their hands. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, others of you are just concentrating on work. Money looks good, Cancer, whether you're female or male. So in your environment, what you don't see coming in is this Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Knight of Swords, these knights in the deck, they're coming, they're going. This is very fast. Somebody's rushing in to communicate something. It could be, there could be some drama around it though, but it's going to happen quickly. Somebody's either leaving or coming. But see, this Knight of Swords is looking right at this devil energy. Cancer. He is. All right, we're going to see what that is. This could be communication. Somebody's rushing in. In your emotions is the strength card. Leo, more Leo. A lot of you guys are dealing with a Leo because we've got a Leo sun in, in reverse here in the foundation. But this is like you're trying to get your strength to move forward and overcome these obstacles. Cancer, you are. Also, some of you are taming yourself. You're holding back. You're taming your actions or communication. Maybe in the past you were, la, 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 you know, because sometimes the queen of cups in reverse, she'll throw a plate at your head. So in your emotions, you might just be holding back, trying to tame yourself, not overreact, getting your confidence back. The outcome is this five of cups, you know? So this is like cancer. We all do that. Like, why do we live in the past? So holding on to the past there's some past pain because the five is challenges kind of looking back you know at the past instead of realizing well shit there's two cups there it doesn't mean like it's not all doom and gloom with the five of cups you know the five of cups can actually be like all right it's time to move forward like yeah i'm, I'm reflecting but sometimes reflection's good, Cancer, as long as you don't get stuck in that energy for too long, right? I do feel there's some sadness and some depression here for some of you guys. I do. I see it. I feel it. All right. Let's clarify, you guys, and see what the hell is up. I want to see Cancer. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Cancer from May 15th through May 31st, 2019. Collective energy and love. What's coming in for Cancer? What do they need to know? Past, present, challenges, what's coming in, what's heading towards cancer, what's the outcome. All my Cancerians. All right, let's get to it, Cancer. I already shuffled these, so we're going to get right to it and see what's up. All right, let's check it. So the overall energy, we have this Eight of Wands in reverse. Something, there's a delay or somebody cut somebody and communicate, like there's a blockage. That Eight of Wands in reverse can be shitty communication, a blocking communication, or just delay. Something's not moving. Why is this, um, why is also cute, this, you might be at a distance from somebody. I just got that, because we've got the Eight of Wands, the Chariot, the Sun, like, I don't know. I just feel that for some of you, obviously. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Why is this the overall energy for Cancer? What is it? Show us. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there's an imbalance. You guys need to regain balance. Something's kind of one-sided. And so somebody's just stopped moving forward or they stopped communicating. Somebody could be giving to somebody else. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Why is it for Cancer's overall energy? The Five of Wands in reverse? Some of you, either you or this person has just stopped communicating because something was one-sided and you just don't want to deal with the arguments anymore or the conflict. So we're just not, we're not communicating or the communication shitty because we also have this five of wands coming in right now to the current moment. It's strife. It's like not being on the same page, you know, conflict. Why is this five of wands coming in right now for cancer? What is this? What's this energy right now? Oh my God. The eight of wands. Cancer, you guys, your energy is all over the place. Um, The five of wands, you know, you might just be releasing this. Again, because the eight of wands in the upper, it's movement. Those wands are action and movement. Sometimes it's release. It's just moving forward from this conflict. Why the eight of wands? What is this? Justice. 
Also too, what I'm getting coming in right now with the five of wands, some of you are conflicted about how to move forward and right or wrong with justice, Libra energy. Some of you might be communicating this to somebody too with um, the five of wands, like why there was conflict, right? Why justice? Because justice can be a reconciliation. Um, justice can be righting a wrong, bringing balance, wanting to apologize, something like that is what I'm getting. The four of cups in reverse about a missed opportunity. And I think for a lot of you too, though, like you're just moving forward and trying to release this because you're trying to get balance back in your life after some type of missed opportunity. Because the challenge is this Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is this here for Cancer's challenge? What is it? Yeah, the Two of Cups. Strong soulmate connection. The challenge is something's very one-sided here. Or the challenge is to heal this Two of Cups energy, this connection. Because in the recent past, you guys, there you are, the chariot, major for Cancer. There was some type of forward movement right um you might be at a distance what's this chariot why is this here what is this i just said distance and the two of wands there could have been challenges due to distance i'm just saying the two of wands can be distant overseas or just you know at a long distance and somebody was indecisive about how to move forward because of this or something what's this two of wands two is about decisions partnerships yeah, the hermit. So somebody went within Virgo energy. Somebody kind of isolated because maybe they were um, conflicted or there were obstacles due to travel. Um, trying to make a decision. Why the hermit? What's this hermit shining that light on? What is it? The page of pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But the page of pentacles in reverse is like a lack of investment or worth or potential. Not seeing eye to eye with this person and so on your mind cancers the queen of cups in reverse why is this here on cancer's mind what's this queen of cups that's you guys what's this queen of cups in reverse or you're dealing with um a female water sign if you're male three of swords in reverse yeah you guys are trying i don't really see third party there i feel like on your mind or what's crowning your reading cancer is you guys are in the you know you guys are in the reverse you're upside down like you're either depressed sad not healed not offering your cup because of the three of swords in reverse. You guys might be waiting on an apology or trying to heal something, but you're having a hard time. I get, I don't, I don't have like stuck cards, but I feel my energy is very heavy right now and stuck. What's this three of swords? Why is this here for cancer on their mind? Yeah, the ten of swords in reverse. You guys are trying to heal. There's a lot of healing energy on your mind. And it's because of the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, somebody wasn't offering that emotion. Or you guys were really hurt. But you're on the men's here. It's almost like the energy of, like, gotta get up, you know? Because the foundation, you've got this sun in reverse. That's also depression or a lack of healing. It's Leo energy. What's the sun about? Why is this here? The tower in reverse, sign of Scorpio. avoiding something avoiding a disaster you guys dodged a bullet basically but i don't think you're real happy about it having to do this why is this tower tower in reverse is like oh shit that could have been catastrophic i dodged it it wasn't built on a strong foundation anyway um and i'm avoiding some of you are avoiding healing what's this tower in reverse you're trying what's the tower in reverse the lovers son of gemini I also get the sense that why all this is happening, the sun and the lover's card, both very strong soulmate energy. I feel like you're not in union with this person. You're avoiding the connection. Somebody's avoiding making this decision with you. There's a strong, a lot of soulmate energy here, Cancer. What's this, what's this lover's about? The king of swords. Somebody's making a decision here just to be, remain cold and detached, avoid and I think it's leaving a lot of you guys sad, right? Not completely healed. Coming in, you've got the devil. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, with that king of swords, but more so the energy is just cutting, severing, being very detached, cold, being logistical. Why is the devil coming in? Why will cancer experience the devil energy, Capricorn? Nine of swords, yeah. I feel like coming in, you guys still very, feel very tied and bound to this situation. It could be fear and restrictions or just like, oh, I can't break away from these chains. 
and it's leaving you worried and anxious. Either you or the other person up late at night watching infomercials. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Worry, fear. Because it's like, oh, I want to heal. You guys clearly want to heal. Six of Cups in reverse, the past, soulmate connection. But there's some negative memories. Yeah, it's nostalgia, but there's something that happened in the past. And you guys feel very stuck to this. You can't kind of get out of your head. Why the Six of Cups in uh, reverse, the Four of Pentacles? Still holding on, Cancer. You or the other person is still holding on to this, even though there's some negative energy tied to it. Yikes. And then the Three of Cups in reverse just came out. I don't really feel like this is, um, you know, third party. I feel like there was a disagreement or something in the past. You guys are still holding on to that. You see yourself right now as the King of Pentacles. So why is Cancer the King of Pentacles? Why does Cancer see themselves as the Queen of, or the King of Pentacles? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Who is this? Who or what? Who or what? Seven of Wands in reverse. A lot of you guys want to just focus on money and career and just let go. Like, you're trying. Oh, it's such heavy energy. It's like push-pull, push-pull. Because you're dealing with a soulmate. That's why, probably. Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse? <sighs> Three of Pentacles. I see this more as Cancer wanting to, like, be in a commitment with this person. Wanting stability. You want stability and long-term. You want to be valued. You want, to, you want potential, and you want this person to open up. You want them to let down their guard with that seven of wands and to work with you again, three of pentacles, to receive your accolades. Like, yeah, let's work together. Let's be on the same page. That's how you see this. Temperance in reverse. But somebody's just imbalanced or not willing to cooperate. Outside influences, Sagittarius energy. Outside influences coming in right now is this, or what you don't see coming in your environment is the Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords coming in for Cancer? What or who? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Empress. A lot of Libra and energy there. Let's clarify it. Why the Empress? Why is this Empress here in uh, Cancer's environment? Why is this heading towards uh, Cancer? What's the Empress about? Seven of Cups in reverse. I got to clarify that one more time before I open my big fat Aries moon mouth. What's the Seven of Cups? Hanged Man in reverse. Pisces energy. God, y'all's energy is so, I feel like I'm doing an Aquarius reading. Like, the energy is so heavy, and it's like, but it's like so conflicted. Um, it's difficult, to be honest. It's, this is not easy. Six, okay, somebody's rushing in, because it's like, they understand your worth here. The Empress is self-love. It's seeing somebody, because remember, this is in your environment. Seeing somebody as the Empress is like... She's above all the queens. She's beautiful physically, but she has a lot of nurturance to give. She has a lot of love, a lot of fertility in a love reading. It's beautiful energy. Somebody's rushing in because they see you as the empress. She could be a wife, too. You might be the mother of this person's children, etc. Because with the seven of cups in reverse, they see the reality of the situation. They're not living in a fantasy. What's that reality? Hangman in reverse, Pisces energy. They need to let go, I think, of living in illusions. It's like they need to see something in a different perspective with the hanged man. Not make certain sacrifices anymore and move towards with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, again, another distance card. You know, move towards you. Return. Can't get out of that mental, you know, feeling trapped. They want to return. They can't move on. It's just that that's the energy. Yeah, and then the Ten of Pentacles. See? Some of you are married to this person, and there's just been a lot of fucking conflict. The Ten of Pentacles is though they're, they're they return because they're bringing stability, or they want growth, or they. It's almost like yeah, now I see the potential in Cancer. So whatever this shit is going on here, you guys, somebody's returning to you to give you an offer. It's crazy energy, but the outcome is the five of fucking cups. Why? Why is this here? Why is the, that's your card, Cancer. Why is uh, the five of cups here? Why is this here in the outcome for Cancer and love? Show us. God, I need a salt bath after this, you guys. The nine of wands. But see, somebody's still guarded. Y'all are dealing with some fucked up, like, I don't know what I want energy is what this is. Because that nine of wands is like on guard. And it's the reason that either you or this person is so cautious and leery is because we're focused on the past here. Something went on in the past. And, you know, they want to bring this stability. But I'm saying if somebody doesn't get over the past, you're going to remain guarded and shut down, cautious, paranoid. 
I'm just saying. What's this Nine of Wands and the outcome for Cancer? Why is this here? What's the Nine of Wands about? King of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have a king and a queen. It is a soulmate. Y'all are both in reverse, so y'all need to do some healing. Who's this King of Cups? Doesn't have to be a water sign male. King of Cups in reverse is just somebody. It's a divine partnership here. You're doing some soulmate shit. That's why that energy is so back and forth. You know, I can't break away, but I can't, you know, get over the past. Why is the King of Cups in reverse here? Who is this? Who or what? Three of Wands in reverse. More travel, more distance. It's like the ships aren't coming in. Somebody's not doing anything because you guys are still in the reverse. You're too cautious. Somebody is. They're too worried about the past. Page of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You know, somebody's just not committing here. It's like, it, I'm getting that energy of like, I can't be with you, but I can't let you go. That's what I'm getting. You're dealing with some like immature energy. Ace of Wands. There's a delay or it's like a full star. It goes back to shit. Why the Ace of Wands here in the outcome? The Page of Wands, you know, you're dealing with somebody immature. They're bringing page energy towards you, but they want long term. That's what's so fucked up. You know, leaving your comments who the hell you're dealing with. What's this page of wands? What's this page of wands? And then we're going to close it out. Five of swords in reverse, clearing the air. There's communication. It's like, y'all, oh my God, y'all. Take Y'all need to take a salt bath or the person you're dealing with. There's just like this get back together, break up. My emotions are all over the fucking place. Like, you guys want it. You want long term. You want this from somebody. If it's not this person, that's just how you see yourself right now. King of Pentacles. Wanting somebody to let their guard down and not be so defensive and work with you. But somebody, you also, you guys are not willing to compromise either. Or your emotions are still, you guys need to heal. I'm just going, I'm rambling. You guys are going to hate this video. Sorry. But that's what I'm seeing. You guys are either very, your energy is very conflicted. And it's because you guys are both showing in the reverse. I don't care what the zodiac sign is. Okay. You got, there. it's the same element so you're dealing with like soulmate shit and this devil is soulmate energy i don't care what anybody says because if the soulmate or twin flame you feel very tied and bound but the outcome shows somebody still living in the past even though they want to bring this shit back to you it goes back and forth <laughs>